Hello everybody, welcome to another video of Snare and Bait. Today we're going to be doing some limb line fishing. If none of you guys have ever heard of limb line fishing, this is where you take fishing line and you tie it to a tree in the river or any place like that, and then you put a little bait fish, about like that long, and you put it on the hook and you leave it there overnight, and the next morning you'll either have like, you know, like a catfish or a flathead. And that's what we're going to do today. But the first thing we need to do is set up a tank so we can hold all of our bait fish. So that's what I'm going to go do real quick. Now we gotta fill it up. Alright guys, after I got it all filled up, I put this little grate on top so nothing falls into the water. And then I got some aerators putting more oxygen into the water. But now all we need is what? Bait fish. So now we're gonna go to a pond. We're gonna go catch some bait. Alright everybody, I made it to this pond. Hopefully we can catch some nice sized bait fish to use for our limb line fishing. There's that fish. Alright everybody, how I tie up these fishing lines is, first off you start out with a big hook. This is an offset treble hook. And then for the knot that I use, I use a clinch knot. Anything that I have left over as far as tag end, I tie a little knot in it. Just in case this line were to slip, it'll slip right back down to that knot. Then after that I go up to a barrel swivel and I just tie that up there. And I think this is a 50 to 100 pound uh, barrel swivel or something like that. It's just a heavy duty barrel swivel just in case I do catch a big fish I want to be ready for them. And the reason why I have a barrel swivel here is that these catfish when you when you catch them, they like to do a lot of spinning. And with that spinning, you don't want them to twist up your line. So that's what this barrel swivel helps out with. And then after you go up the line a little bit, I got a three ounce weight. This weight helps with uh, keeping the fish down closer to the bottom. And so they're not like swimming around and stuff like that. And then I got about five to eight feet of line. And that's all I'm doing for these fishing lines guys and I need to probably tie up a couple more and then later tonight I'm gonna go take the kayak out and find some spots on the river and see if I can find some good spots for these flatheads. Alright guys the fish are all loaded up in the bucket here. Let's go put this by the kayak and let's go to the river. Alright everybody one thing I forgot to mention is you're supposed to put your name on each line that you set out. I think it's your name, your address, your phone number, and even your fishing license. So I'm just going to write it on the piece of tape and kind of tape it around the top of where I set these lines. So let's get on the water and see if we can find some good spots. Alright guys, I made it to the first spot. Uh, this spot I put my kayak paddle in the water I couldn't touch the bottom so I think this will be a good spot here. So I'm just going to grab some line and tie it up. One thing that I really want to try to look for is kind of a, a V off of the tree. And that way if, it, if the line moves up and down the tree, it'll get wider and wider. And if I tie it tight to the tree, I right below that V and it moves up the line, it won't move up this tree very good. So that's what I try to look for. And one thing I like to do is I like to try to feel where the bottom is and then kind of go up a little bit so that fish isn't just sitting right on the bottom and that way it's up off the bottom a little bit and making movements. I'll show you how I hook these bait fish. I go right underneath the backbone and then come through on the other side but then I've got to make sure that I got all the scales off the other side so it doesn't prevent a catch. Once I have the fish on there like that I set the line in the water and then after that I put my piece of tape on there. So let's go set some more. Alright guys, there's fish number two at spot number two. Let's keep going. There's fish number three at spot number three. We got one more to go. Let's keep going. There's fish number four at the spot number four. That's the last one. Now all you gotta do is wait until tomorrow morning. Hopefully we catch some big ones. I 
Hello everybody, this is the next morning. Hopefully we have something on our lines. Let's go check them and see what we got. Alright guys, here at spot number one, they took our bait. Let's keep going, see if we have anything on these other lines. Hey guys, here's spot number two. Nothing went on our bait and our fish died. But, we got two more to check. Hopefully there's some on them. Alright guys, here at spot number three, our fish is still on here. Uh, there's nothing on this one. We got one more to check. Hopefully there's something on that one. Alright guys, here I'm at spot number four. There's a flathead that's on here, but it brought me into a brush pile. Hopefully I can get this fish out. Alright guys, I pulled up on the fourth line, and this is what I caught. A big old flathead. That's awesome. Alright guys, here's a better angle of that flathead. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like or a comment if you'd like to see more like this. Have a great day.